Good morning, y'all. We have made it through the first six weeks. I'm so excited. Um, this is the start of the second six weeks. Um, and I'm just so glad that we're through with the first one. Moving on to the second, it's already flying by so fast. Um, go ahead in your table of contents in your craft book. Go ahead and we're gonna be on 35 today. And the title of our lesson today, it's not a mini lesson, it's right about a pebble. Okay, go ahead and turn to 35. And tile the page right about a pebble. What do you think I'm asking us to do today? Do you think I'm asking you to actually write about a actual pebble? Or do you think that this is a bigger, that the pebble is a symbol for something? If you said that the pebble is a symbol for something, you are right, okay? So when I say right about a pebble, okay? It means I want you to focus your writing on a specific, observable, or experienced parts of life. Okay, so writing about a pebble is focusing our writing on specific observable or experienced parts of life. Okay, right here, what I want you to do is, I kind of want you to just draw like a forest, right? Okay, so we have our ground, we've got some trees. Maybe even we have some flowers. Okay, there's the sun shining bright. Okay. Now, uh, once again, I'm not an artist. I don't teach art, so don't judge my trees. Um, okay, now I want you, once you draw your landscape, okay, pause this, draw your landscape. It doesn't have to be detailed. It can be super simple, okay? Um, once you have your landscape drawn, I want you to put a dot. Now, this is what I mean about write about a pebble. I'm not talking about writing about everything going on, I want you to write about one specific observable thing, okay, a pebble. So going outside, instead of writing about everything outside, okay, we're gonna practice focusing on one thing, okay, which is gonna be our pebble, okay? When we're writing a story, we're not gonna try to get everything down on paper, we're going to focus on one thing, okay? So, to help us, this is what I want you to say, okay? Don't write about pebbles, put an S. Write about a pebble, 
okay? So instead of writing about all the pebbles in the world, everything, I want you to write about one little thing, a pebble, just one pebble instead of all the pebbles. Okay, once again, pebbles are a metaphor for just items that you're trying to describe. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is, this is what I want you to do. I want you to create your own version of this sentence. Okay, so I'm gonna write the sentence stem. Um, what you're going to do is you're gonna pause this video and down below there is a discussion and I want you to click post reply. It's on the same page as this video. Okay, so don't write about blank, something big. Okay, write about blank, small, okay? I will give you one example. Don't take my example, okay? Um, this is my example for y'all. Don't write about Friends, write about your best friend. Okay, so instead of writing about all my friends, I'm choosing one friend. Okay, I want you to pause this video right now and I want you to go below and I want you to create your own version of this sentence stem. Don't write about blank, write about blank. Now, the reason why we're talking about this is because I see students struggling sometimes with trying to put so much on, so many things on paper. Okay, so I want you to think about how big is an actual pebble? How big is this pebble, right? It's tiny compared to everything else. Okay, so it is small. Okay, our goal is for you, instead of getting overwhelmed with all the detail, okay, I want you to focus on, okay, just like we did up here, something specific, observable, or or experience to expand on. So what you're gonna do on the next page is you are going to read an excerpt from um, Soul Surfer. Okay, I'm gonna actually go ahead and read it with y'all now. Um, and you're gonna read it and um, create a pebble. But as I'm reading it out loud, okay, I want you to think about what is the pebble in this piece, okay? Uh, what details do they go super deep into that make you feel and make you be able to see something? Okay. Um, one more thing I want you to add is that, okay, pebbles are using the senses. Sight, sound, touch, hearing, taste, okay? So the pebble in this is going to be something um, that appeals to your senses, okay? So this is an excerpt from the nonfiction book Soul Surfer, the Bethany Hamilton story. It came literally out of the blue. I had no warning at all, not even the slightest hint of danger on the horizon. The water was crystal clear and calm. It was more like a swimming pool rather than the deep ocean waters in Kauai, Hawaii, 
where I almost every morning surf with my friend Alana Blanchard or the other girls on the Hanalei girls surf team. The waves were small and inconsistent and I was just kind of rolling along with them, relaxing on my board with my right hand on the nose of the board and my left arm dangling in the cool water. I remember thinking, I hope the surf picks up soon, when suddenly there was a flash of gray. That's all it took, a split second. I felt a lot of pressure and a couple of lightning fast tugs. I couldn't make it out I couldn't make out any of the details, but I knew that the huge jaws of a 15-foot tiger shark covered the top of my board and my left arm. When I watched in shock as the water around me turned bright red, somehow I stayed calm and started to paddle toward the beach. My left arm was almost gone to the armpit, along with a huge crescent-shaped chunk of my red, white, and blue surfboard. So what you're going to do on the next page is you are going to pull out text, okay, pull out a sentence that you think is the pebble, okay? And you can copy it, copy and paste it into the discussion.